हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी फ्रॉम चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक फंडामेंट्स ऑफ शाकुत्री लाइक स्मोकिंग एंड क्योरिंग एंड इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न अबाउट द सॉसेजेस at the end of the session you will be able to define sausage describe the components of sausage and their role and elaborate the steps involved in sausage making a sausage is a generic term for wide range of preserved meat products made of minced meat combined with fat and spices and stuffed in casing a sausage could be preserved by cooking smoking or drying or at times be stored fresh chilled and cooked at the time of serving the word sausage is said to be derived from the latin word salus which means salted as in olden days meat used to be salted for preservation gradually families perfected recipes and handed them down for generation to create signature products this elevated sausage making into an art from early times people realized the fact that many parts of animals such as intestine stomach and bladder were perfect pouches for meat to be placed inside and then cooked or cured to create sausages till now the process of sausage making remains the same the meat is first ground and then mixed with spices seasoning and curing agent it is then stuffed into various casing and then cured brined smoked or cooked in italy sausages are known as insaccati which means in the sack The various elements used to make sausages include meat, fat, binding agents, sweetener, seasoning and curing mix and casing. Pork is the most commonly used meat in sausage making, but there are other meats which can be used in sausage making like beef, veal, lamb, chicken, turkey, liver and rabbit. mixtures of pork plus one or more of these meats are often used when we talk about fat a ratio of 25% of fat is used in force meat to prepare stuffing for sausages fat is one of the most important ingredient in sausage making generally pork fat is used in sausage making binding agents helps to bind the meat together while making a sausage a protein in the mat in the meat called myosin helps to naturally bind the meat together in many cases soya protein and milk powders are also used as binding agent in sausage making and there are some other traditional binding agents like egg cream and panada which are also commonly used in sausage making sweeteners such as honey corn syrup etc plays a very important role in sausage making as they serve as food to the necessary bacteria to thrive in the meat which in turn develops the mellow flavors sweetener also helps to promote browning in the shakuhari products dextrose is the most preferred sweetener in the sausage making herbs spices and other flavorings accounts for the primary differences among sausages Many sausages are made of nothing more than ground pork and seasoning. It is the seasoning that gives them the distinct flavor. There is no hard and fast rule about usage of spices and seasoning. All herbs and spices which are used for cooking can be used for sausage making. A cure mix is a mixture of salt plus seasonings and in many cases sugar, sodium nitrite and sodium nitrate. casings are of vital importance in sausage making thus casing not only holds the meat together but compactly packed meat in casing undergoes complex chemical reaction in controlled environment which results in flavorful sausage there are two types of casings natural and man made that we will discuss in detail in the coming slides This slide explains the various steps involved in sausage making. Picture one shows you the preparation of force meat. To prepare force meat, one has to weigh the meat and fat. 
cut them into small chunks enough to fit into the grinder. If the sausages are to be cured, toss the cure mix with the diced meat at this point. Chill the meat well before proceeding. Grind the meat and fat following the direction in the recipe to achieve the proper fineness or coarseness of grind. Chill the meat well. Combine the meat, salt and spices and mix thoroughly. Slide the casings onto the nozzle. To help the casings slide on easily, moisten both the casing and the stuffer nozzle with water. Place the meat in the stuffer one handful at a time. Pack each handful firmly into the stuffer to eliminate air bubbles. Stuff the sausages following the direction of your equipment. The sausages will pull the casings off the nozzle as the meat flows through it. But it is best to hold your hand at the end of the nozzle to help control a rate at which the casing is pulled from the nozzle. From time to time as the casing is filled, it is necessary to push the bunched up unfilled casing towards the end of the nozzle so it will slide off more easily. Do not stuff the casings too tightly. If the meat is packed too tightly, it will be difficult to twist the sausage into lengths. After all the meat is stuffed into casing, remove any air bubbles by pricking the casing and pressing the surface to expel the air. Twist the sausage into lengths to form uniform size. Cook or store or process it further as required. Sausages can be categorized in three ways, fresh, cured and smoked. A fresh sausage can be defined as a sausage that contains no nitrites or nitrates. It is basically a mixture of ground meat, seasoning and flavorings. A cured sausage is one that contains nitrites or nitrates of sodium. These chemicals help prevent spoilage of foodborne disease. Incidentally, they also keep the meat red or pink, even when cooked. Cured sausages may be sold raw or cooked. Smoked sausages may be hot smoked or cold smoked. Smoking may be light or heavy depending on the sausage. Sausages like other smoked meats are cured before being smoked. The cure mixture is mixed directly with the sausage meat. There are two types of casings, natural and man-made. With the increase in demand of sausages, it was important to create man-made casings as the demand could not be met just through natural casings. Natural casings, as the name suggests, these casings are obtained naturally from animals. Usually, small and large intestines of animals are used for casings. The intestines are preserved at the time of slaughter and are cleaned and segregated on the basis of their size and shape. Man-made casings. These casings are artificially made and are preferred over natural casings as they offer better quality control because of the standard size and shapes. Plastic casings. Made of plastic, this type of casing is suitable for cooked sausage and is non-edible. Collagen casing. This type of casing is made of animal collagen extruded into shapes of casing which is edible. It is more expensive than natural casing and is comparatively easier to use. Fibrous casing. This is good for air dried sausage such as salami and as it is permeable, it should not be used for cooked sausage. Polymer casing. This type of casing is made up of high strength polymer which can withstand high temperature of cooking. The filling or the grind of the meat determines the texture of the sausage. We can divide sausage meat into two categories based on grind. The most common sausages are made simply of meat and fat ground to varying degrees of fineness or coarseness mixed with seasoning and stuffed into casing. We refer to these as basic grind sausages.
Some sausages, on the other hand, include familiar ones like frankfurters, mortadella, and bologna, are made with meat and fat, ground to smooth puree, and blended with a little liquid such as water or milk. We refer to these as emulsified grind sausage because of the added liquid content and the emulsion of the fat with the meat and liquid. There are certain additives and preservatives which are used in sausage preparation and which are like quatrepis, herbs, seasoning, curing agents. Quatrepis is basically a, a mixture of ground, cinnamon, clove, pepper and nutmeg. It can be obtained commercially or it can be prepared at home as well. Herbs and seasonings. Any kind of herbs or seasoning which can be used in cooking can be used in sausage preparation as we, as we have already discussed it before. Curing agent. There are several curing agents which are being used in sausage preparation for example like sodium nitrite, nitrate, parag 1, 2, TC and that is tinted curing mix. All these we have already discussed in the previous session and all these uh, uh, curing agents can be uh, can be mixed in sausage in two ways first is it can be mixed with the meat after it is diced the diced meat is then chilled thoroughly before being ground and the second way is that it can be combined with the remaining spices and seasoning and mixed into the ground meat more quickly and effectively in this slide, we will discuss some of the most popular sausages of the world. First one is kilbasa, which is a lubed shaped sausage from Poland. Next is bratwurst, which is a German uncured sausage with a coarse filling of pork and pork fat, sometimes with ghee. Brat means finely chopped meat and wurst means sausage in German. Frankfurter originated in Frankfurt, Germany and are made from pork and or beef. It has gained popularity because of its use in the popular sandwich hot dog. Salami. It is a cured and fermented sausage, most popular in Italy, France and many European countries. It is a general classification of highly seasoned dry sausage, having a fermented flavor. Genoa salami is the best example of it. Mortadella. It is a large Italian sausage that is made from emulsified force meat in which fat from the neck of pork and chopped pistachio are added to give it a traditional specked look. Country style pork sausage it is made from pork and has a very coarse texture. It is highly seasoned with peppercorn and nutmeg. This is considered to be a breakfast sausage. This is all in this session. Hope you must have understood the term sausage, its components and the steps involved in sausage making. In the upcoming session, you will learn about force meat as it is a base for many shakutri products. Once you have the detailed knowledge of uh, force meat, you will be able to prepare quality shakutri products. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.